let's navigate to resource groups and find our resource group. Here, we are in our resource group. Let's find our virtual machine and click on that. I switched to Visual Studio Code and created a terminal window in the directory of my project. Now, I'm logging into Azure. Now that I've logged into Azure through my Visual Studio Code terminal window, I am going to go back to the portal and start my virtual machine. A public IP internet protocol address is allocated and my virtual machine is now ready. You can copy the IP address from the Azure portal, but let me show you another way to get it from the terminal window. This command lists all IP addresses for this resource group and virtual machine. Here is the IP address and the allocation method is dynamic because we were cheap and wanted to save money on our project. Next, we are using a secure copy to transfer the files from our web app directory to our virtual machine. Next, we will be prompted to log in. You may receive a fingerprint prompt. Type yes to agree. Type in your password. After logging in, you will see an exciting display of file transfer. Let's run the secure shell command to remotely connect to our virtual machine using our username and password. Let's navigate to our web app directory and list the contents. You can see everything has been copied over. After you're done playing with your virtual machine, don't forget to go to the portal and stop it.